discuss, discuss section 1547 of the second class township code as it pertains to public rewards for information specifically relating to drug related activities in Union Township. So in our second class township book, um, I'll read this section, it's 1547 under public rewards. The Board of Supervisors may offer rewards for information leading to the arrest and conviction of persons who commit capital or other crimes within the township or for the violation of any township ordinance. So um, naturally, as it's written on this agenda, um, what I'm proposing has nothing to do with township ordinances. And specific crimes are drug-related crimes. Um, I know myself, and I'd like the board to open discussion on this, I hear a lot of rumors of drug activity in the township. I have for years. Um, I know other supervisors have. We're limited in, in what we can do, obviously. We are just, um, you know, a non paid service of the township. And we do have a police department. They're wonderful. Um, it's not a full-time police department like we once had that investigates crime and follows through with, um, with detectives. Um, we are lacking that. We've been lacking that for many, many years here, and I do think that there has been infiltration of that type of um, activity, and I think it's pervasive in our township. And this is something carved out in our second-class township code that is something that can be used to benefit the public if it's used wisely and correctly. So I would like everybody's opinion, including Solicitor Sweat. Uh, my thoughts are, I personally wouldn't recommend any of this touch any one of the board of supervisors. What I'm looking for is an agency, maybe at the county level, a drug task force agency or the district attorney's office to possibly field calls or tips from residents um, who you know, have concerns and are concerned about who they tell and um, you know, they have an avenue to report any type of this activity. So, any thoughts? You just had an incident this past weekend. Was it Veterans Park? I'm all for that thing. We suspect that drug drug overdose, not, not including ordinances of the protected classes. Or I think it's a good, good <coughs> being proactive with it. And I wouldn't want to be called, I don't think anybody's going to be called. And I would know how we would begin this, I mean, possibly a resolution set up, maybe. I think the first step is to talk to the district attorney and get his guidance on how it would work. Uh, you're, you're talking about uh, tips uh, that lead to arrest and conviction of crimes under the Pennsylvania Crimes Code that fit a certain either misdemeanor or felony uh, category. So once we get the feedback from the district attorney, then you could adopt it by resolution. Because he would have to enforce it. Okay, so we have to do that anyway, seriously. What's that up? I think we have to do that. Oh, I know we should do it. Who should come to do that? Well, that would be <coughs> yeah. And again, this would preface in this I would I would hands down would want an insulation as far as sweat law offices contacting whatever agency would if they would you know, care to take this on, and the only thing that the board would ever take action on is possibly 